perfect. Can totally tell them apart now. That's amazing. <laughs>we are back for more borking all right let's take down this star system Sam. yeah we're gonna uh, jump to easy mode until i get were a, you in normal before i was in normal before what the f i couldn't remember how difficult it was so i went ahead and picked uh normal mode notoriously difficult yeah notoriously difficult so now we can kind of plan our spots okay. on visit location here we'll make a full we'll disrupt slower Disrupt your sensors. Let's go. That doesn't sound ideal. This way. You know? So, a lot of it's going to be now maximizing what we can. Here's an enemy ship. Oh, intervene and defend the outpost. Sure. Hell yeah. The outpost can probably give us stuff if we yeah. uh, win. Okay. <clears throat> rebel, respond to your threats. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. So, we went through a little bit of uh, like a tutorial type thing. Just to refresh on the room. Let's go ahead. We figured out like what the door weapons. room does and what the... Uh, what the what would you what would you call the uh, the visual room like the sensor room to be able to look into their ship and also see your own ship and type of stuff yeah I'm gonna um, keep this guy in the shields while this yeah. guy takes it out and then if you keep guys in the shield room and then you keep guys in the engine bay it's like highly defensive and yeah it's pretty cool nice little okay. tutorial video I think it was by IGN five years ago probably um, I forgot that this game is that old too it's been on a long time there's an updated version guys but we are playing the standard edition right now mm -hmm. um, because I don't know what's in the expert version let's get the basics first let's get yeah. trying to get Bork Bork and Borky to the next universe at least so am I under the understanding that you need to blast their shields down with your lasers before you can hit them you with the can. rockets so every hit you do it brings down the shields so like the laser uh, blast yeah. uses one to bring it down. So if I was to change Oof. it to shields. Yours just went down for a second. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I was talking about do missiles just don't hit shields? Is that what the difference is? If you can time it like that. So like you can either time it or you can set it to auto fire. Mm -hmm. um, and if you time it, like you can have your laser going and then send a missile to do massive damage. Only if their shields are down or, or? If their shields are down. Otherwise you're just wasting the missiles. Huh, okay. So let's okay. take him and go here. This is pretty cool. I like yeah, this. A um, pretty cool game. Not my, not my style of game. Uh, because of the micromanagement, yeah. but I understand how you'd feel really fucking cool as uh, playing this if you um, able to master it or at least be really good at it. Kay. Black market weapons trader spins Ooh, you a tale of the dangers unknown. of the nebula before pushing his wares. Sure, let's get a new weapon. 45 scrap. Holy shit, man. We only have 70. What? Oh, shit. I got Sam, you got ripped off. I got fucking duped. They're covered in blood or maybe that's just paint. Oh. Intruders detected. You're getting shot in the engine room. Yep. Send Borky Borkin Borkenstein. Oh, okay. dude. I'm gonna have you take this out. This is easy Jesus. mode. Yes. What the fuck? Oh, that was easy. Oh. Uh, no. Accept their offer. No, take all of it. Yeah, you guys stole Explode my them. Bunch of cowards. Okay, you go to repair. You heal up. Is that repair you for your people or repair yeah, for the ship? People. Okay, so it's the sick bay? So I'm going to have him take it the O2. Yeah, your guy's almost healed up all the way. Cool. So, um, we said that we were going to talk about the... Uh, oh, yes. Uh, we are going Zablo to... Zablo controversy. <laughs> Boom. I figured you had it. Uh, very nice. I don't know if it was any better than their offer, but I'm no, assuming it was. I didn't get that back, so there's nothing I can do. Let's go ahead and send you here. You didn't get what back? I did not get back uh, the 45 scrap I gave them, which is kind of... Bullshit. Why the fuck did you not? I don't know. That's lame. That is lame. I got other stuff, so it is what it is. Okay. Uh, well, but yeah, we were going to talk about the Diablo. The, uh, so Diablo totally, or not oh, Diablo, man. Blizzard totally, absolutely botched, botched up their job at BlizzCon 2018. Um, and they, uh, they just seem a little distracted from what people what people want, want. Yeah. versus what their shareholders what want, I guess. Something. They announced Diablo. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I keep wanting to call it Infinite. <laughs> Diablo. Uh, Infinite. Uh, what, uh, 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 Inferno. What the uh, fuck is it called? Uh, it starts weird. with an I. Wow, this is easy mode too. What are you, what are you doing, Samuel? I'm, I'm getting I'm getting fucking wrecked. I don't understand what's going down. I'm trying. This drone is fucking. Well, get out of there! Get out of there! Get healed! What, uh, your guy are gonna die. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm doomed. Uh, this was, uh, well, well, there well, goes Bork and Borker. 
Borky, no, not Borky. Ah, uh, well, you fucked up, man. I, I, that was easy mode? This is easy mode. I thought you said you were good at this game. <laughs> I never said I was good at this game. I thought you said you were better at this game. <laughs> I never said I was anything. The, uh, what's the Diablo game, the fucking mobile one called? What is it called? Diablo Infinite? No. I kept wanting to call Immortal. it Infinite Immortal. There you go. No. Uh, pay their toll? No. So you're just gonna fight them? Yeah. I don't have anything to pay them with. Why, why'd you go to them? I just picked a zone. I didn't know they were gonna. You didn't read? No, that doesn't tell you. Sometimes oh, it doesn't. Oh, okay. I thought you've been setting know. these up. No. So Diablo Immortal comes out, or it doesn't come out, but they announced it at BlizzCon. They don't even have a fucking date for when it's coming out yet. <laughs> yeah. But they completely avoid half the goddamn questions that they're asked. Well, that so, was the worst part. Is a lot of the gaming journalists started uh, hyping down on the people that were asking do questions. You, do so you want to you want to talk about the questions first? I mean, yeah, we should give some context. So Diablo Immortal was just announced at BlizzCon. Uh, a couple days ago, and you are a. Well, die. It's, it was a week ago, as of this. Uh, as of this. Video. As of this video going live, probably. Yeah. It was. It was two days ago, three days ago, uh, as of this recording. Um, but yeah, they they had a Q and A, and they were absolutely tone deaf during the Q and A. Uh, well, yeah, they hyped up for. They said a week ago before BlizzCon happened, like, oh, okay, guys, temper your expectations. Um, we do have a Diablo announcement, though, yada, yada, yada. But they didn't really mm -hmm. give specifics from what I am aware of. Mm -hmm. So they didn't go out right and say, like, yeah, guys, it, it's not going to be an update. It's not going to be uh, as big as you expected me. But at the same time, they were still going to feature something of Diablo yeah. on their panel. So it ended up being a mobile game. And how I see it, you're just accepting it? Yeah. Their offer? Okay. How, I, how I've how i seen it go down is that uh, through the questions that they were asked in the Q&A, that guy's dying. Through the Q and A panel, is that um, the uh, questions started being like, okay, so this is a mobile game, so will it be available on PC at all? If not, well, why'd you guys step in the middle of the fire? Because he has to take out the fire. The, I mean, okay, you can't go square by square. No, it's just room by room. Pretty much. Wow. They go room by room, so you have to kind of repair them. Yeah, and cycle them. Out. Okay, I'm seeing it. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy, there goes your oxygen. Yeah. I need to send him in there. I was going to say, I, I think need you need to, I think out. it's more important you go to your oxygen place. Um, the, uh, you guys are going to die. You're going to fail already. Okay. The, uh, uh, people started asking questions about it and they were kind of like, okay, so are these the graphics that we saw? Were they, are they in-game graphics or is this a pre-render? Uh, you know, what can we expect for difficulty levels? What can we expect for, is there going to be a hardcore mode? Um, and this is all stuff that the fans are genuinely, uh, you're going to want to get them out of there for the O2, Shit. right? Uh, the whole ship is down on O2. You're down 35%. Oh, God, you're hitting hypoxia levels. Well. Wow. Well. Uh, the, uh. Well, that was a short run, too. <laughs> Why is your guy not moving? I only have 23% oxygen. I'm just now sending him to move. Yeah, that is not enough oxygen, buckaroo. No, it is not. Yeah, um, you guys basically holding his breath. Gonna... Why are you going to restart? Why don't you just fail? That is, I mean, I only got one well, guy let left. Let him fail. Maybe you don't get complete, like, coins or something if you... Isn't there some kind of carryover so you can start doing other stuff? Mm, well, oxygen's back now. Now it's going back up, so I got one guy left. I don't know. I mean, does it does does subsequent carryover games give you like a uh, experience points or anything like that I to carry over? I don't believe so. I think you just unlock better ships. Okay. Uh, by getting to getting further in the game, you unlock better ships, oh. which well, allows then you. Well, then restart then. I thought there might have been something that was like, nah. oh hey, you know, you gained five experience points even though you lost, so that's gonna accrue over time towards a better run. Unfortunately, not. Oh, okay. Um. So, when they started answering these fucking questions on the BlizzCon panel, they did it pretty sassy back to the the people who were asking questions. Well, yeah, the fans legitimately came up there going... They announced the trailer and it was just dead pan silence because the fans were just going, Wait, what? This mm -hmm. is... This is the announcement? This is what you guys... Well, I think it was more that they just weren't excited for a mobile game. They yeah. were like, well, okay, we're... They're... Diablo fans are some hardcore people. They like so hardcore not. games. They like hardcore, hard games. Mm -hmm. That would be like announcing a Dark Souls game where it's quick time events. It's like, what? Re like really? What? Like, really? that's not. This, is what you're that's, this isn't what us? Diablo is. Yeah. But I mean, like, okay, but if that's what it is, let's ask questions. And they started asking questions like, 
What are the graphics like? What, uh, what, what is the armor progression like? Can we expect a hardcore mode? Is it gonna end up being on PC eventually? Like, these are things that are important to us. Let's figure this out. And when the developers are like, no, 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 or you don't have a phone. They kept giving the similar sassy, PR excuse yeah. going, well, the current plan is to only support Android, iOS, not yeah. even really giving the fans hope that, hey, maybe this is something we can consider. Not even giving them a little bit of yeah, compassion. Well, like, I, I wouldn't want to be lied to, not but at lied the same to, time. But at least have some kind of a conversation said, like you're just uttering PR speak. I, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you have no need of his services. It's a mercenary for hire. Um, but you don't, I mean, you nope. you do have cogs, but yeah, I don't see why you would need them right now. No, 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 no. So right now, when you get attacked. Oh, <laughs> are you sure easy mode is, is this an opposite day? Maybe it is. Because this, this seems a lot harder than your previous okay. runs. Um, the, uh, their answers seem kind of, uh, avoiding, avoidal, av avoiding the uh, question, essentially. Dodging. Yeah, dodging, thank you. Um, and when finally, I think we countered like through, and it was at least more than half the questions were done. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy was like, is this an April Fool's joke or a, a late April Fool's joke? It got joke? to about like the sixth or seventh person after asking legitimate questions the whole way. Yeah, where and... people seemed disappointed from their answers but didn't outright say anything or yeah. react. The guy was like, all right. And I, I believe he had a different question ahead of time because I, I think how they do it is they go, what questions are you gonna ask? Okay, you can come up, you can come up. They kind of vet it like you do on a radio show. Right. You know? But then by the time I got to the guy, he was like, all right, is this a joke? Like, are you guys kidding? You could tell, You, I'm sure the guy read the room and he was like, nobody's satisfied with this. Like, oh, yeah. and then your guys' answer does not make it any better. Yeah. So I'm on the fan side of the fans. I know a lot of people right now are like, well, it's very childish of them to, you know, demand this and uh, you know. It's... I don't think it's demanding. They're asking legitimate questions and not getting any well, response. They were, they were showing, yeah, well, that's just it. They weren't showing any response as towards like what a lot of the answers are, unless they were positive strictly towards. You know, some people have tried to defend it, saying, "Oh, it's not tone deaf of them. It's kind of tone deaf." It's very tone deaf. At you are Blizz selling a product, and the people who are there at BlizzCon don't seem to be responding well to it. Yeah. So maybe you misjudged what your what your plan was. Wants. I mean, they're doing it at the place where this is BlizzCon. This is the biggest convention to celebrate their games. Mm -hmm. And they're just kind of going like, "Okay." Well, wasn't it the grand announcement too, or like the last announcement? It's the or last something announcement, like I believe, of their host show and it's like wait wait this is what you guys were gonna do what is that oh i added a quest marker cool tight um where's that oh, oh cool. wow that's really far away dude i don't think you're gonna make it no probably yeah not. I, can, I don't think you're gonna make I it can you can get that extra jump in yeah but yeah, yeah. um huh oh that's fuel that's what it is okay sure, little Adam things. he's like don't hit me wow Ooh, Distress signal? Yeah, this should be able to, I can do Yeah, and then you can after. get that last one in, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, I, I think, I think it comes down to them being tone deaf, them choosing shareholders over fans, which I get, you have to balance that because your shareholders are what keep everything, the roof over your head. Mm -hmm. But after that's funded and the game is out, it's your fans and the people who are your consumers that keep everything going after that. Well, it was just weird that all the gaming journalists were immediately on the side of Blizzard, who have, Activision has been notorious for constantly squeezing as much money as they can out of games. Uh -huh. So as soon as they hear a mobile announcement, it's gonna get backlash. Yeah, well mobile games are traditionally a lot of uh, monetization slash loot box slash uh, pay for extra move sets and you know, you know that type of thing. Where it's a, it's kind of money hungry, uh, grubbing kind of kind of ordeal. Mm -hmm. But And then the fact when people see that their beloved Diablo is going that route, they're like, okay, we don't like this, but tell us more about it. Tell us about the graphics. Tell us they, about if it's going to be on PC. Like they, tell wanted us, to, yeah. they wanted to accept it. They wanted to be a part of it. They just mm -hmm. wanted to know that you're not forgetting about us, right? The people that have played all the Diablo games. Yeah. And they kept giving typical BR, B, uh, PR. B, BS PR speak with, we want as many people to join the Blizzard community. Yeah. It's all just We want people to show up at BlizzCon. We want people to blah, blah, blah. We want people to... And it's like, the, when I keep saying tone deaf, I think it's because they felt like they were selling it to the 
shareholders more than they were trying to sell it to the fans. And the fans were like, wait, we don't, th these specific things that you're mentioning are not important to us as individuals. We want yes. to know about the product. Well, and the product doesn't seem to be what we've been asking for for a long time. Yeah, it's been so about we're gonna voice five our, years or so. And since Diablo 3. And then some people 12 have argued since that, Diablo 2? Yeah, something, something like that. They've A lot of people have argued the journalists like, well, they did tell the fans beforehand to you know, temper expectations. They should I think have been they, more I blunt. think they were supportive. No, I think they were. Yeah. I, I don't think that's the problem at all. I think people came in with an optimistic. Uh, at least the people in the questions, because you didn't hear booze until they started being like, "Oh, it's a mobile game. Don't you all have phones?" And then they got yeah, the boo. I mean, that's when people. That's start about when really I remember watching the Q and A. Firing back. People started. Well, the yeah. first boo they had was when a big YouTuber of the Diablo community said, "Hey, there's a lot of stuff in here that looks." like things we've been asking for for a long time uh -huh. is there any plans on bringing this to us is there plans to bring it to pc for us to play it's a new diablo of course we want to play it yeah and a lot of them are pc gamers yeah exactly yeah. and it's just it's the pc gamers are some of the most hardcore gamers so when you hear about something like a mobile game but you're selling it essentially to everyone who's there and they're almost all PC gamers mm -hmm. or they're at least some of the most hardcore because they're spending a lot of money and travel to go to your event. They're not going to be of the casual variety. No, they're not. That's why it's so tone deaf and why I don't understand people don't, I don't understand how the gaming journalists, I see it from their point. They're going, well, how could you not know? It's like, you guys are in the media. You're constantly dealing with this stuff. This is fans. These are fans that came to go to it's this a, show. It's a fact of reading the room in your audience yeah. and, and it felt like they really didn't or I think they maybe they did, but they didn't expect what they what they got. I'm not entirely sure. You have a ton of cogs, dude. I do. I got. I built up a lot. Yeah, might want to buy some augmentations or something. Uh, I don't think there. There's only a couple things you can buy here. So I could buy self teleport healing unit that instantly heals all friendlies crew in the room. Can target your own ship. Self teleporting mm. explosives that. Div Damage systems and crew, but not the whole. Can target your own ship. I, uh, ooh, I don't Protects know. your ship from ion damage, giving 50% chance to negate entirely. And stealth mode prevents your weapon firing from disrupting your cloak, allowing you to shoot while cloaked. Are you? Do you even have access to a cloak, though? No, but a couple of these weapons might be worth it. But I'm gonna hold. I, I would say probably the heal thing would probably be worth it, right? Yeah. The teleporting, looks, the guy that teleports to your injured too. guys. So I oh, yeah, because you can spend more stuff on that. Upgrade my shields. Do you want to have something that'll give... Well, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, do you want to have something that'll give you guys the ability to auto-heal? That would take one thing off of your, your yeah, multitasking. You only have four different slots, and they all use your weapon energy as the problem. Oh, oh so I didn't I have, know that. Now okay. I have a greater shield, so I have two shield buttons now. So that the, should the be... augmentations aren't automatic? No, they are not. Okay. So I'm going to try and get to the next space. Um, yeah. How about, is this safe? I was going to say, how about safe. next time? I still have more stuff to say. Well, about, yeah, uh, definitely, Diablo, definitely. Yeah. We're going to talk about BlizzCon stuff more, because I'm still I'm still getting it out and trying to put it into words properly, and I'm not yeah, doing process. it so well. I did it better <clears> earlier, <throat> but now that I'm playing this, I'm like, wait, thoughts, stream. It's a hard game to talk. Words. Talk ah! while you're trying to also relearn how everything works. <laughs> Anyhow, we will see you guys tomorrow. Beep, bop, boob. It's just it's such a divisive thing between the fans, yeah. media, and whatnot. And it always comes down to, like, gamers are entitled. <laughs> yeah, and some points they are. Some points, yeah. But we'll some talk about comments, that next time. Yeah, yeah. Jesus.